Hello again. Some time ago I made this uh, candy skull, sugar skull out of copper and I've got a video on how I made it and I like the look of it so I thought I'll try and make another one and my son drew this design uh, it's much bigger and I did that uh, did it this week. Uh, the first one when I hammered it I used a screwdriver um, but this one I used my own tools which I'd made um, I show how to make some of them uh, in this video here on the the blue one and so I made that this week out of copper again and I thought it'd be nice to try something totally different so just for a change, nice to have a change so I have a piece of an old aluminium tray here which I've drawn the outline of the skull on and with this one I'd like to do it uh, quite differently I'd like to cut out the eyes, the nose and these pieces by the side of the jaw and then just texture the whole thing no uh, intricate patterns, just texture the whole thing and see how it turns out so I'm going to give that a go now So here we are now, I've cut out eyes, uh, nose and sides of the jaw. I use this uh, little tool here, it's just a scrap piece of tool steel that I filed to a point, I heated it up till it wasn't magnetic, uh, orange, and then I quenched it in some oil, it's 01 ground flat stock tool steel so you quench it in oil, hardens it, and then it, when I cut it, it has a nice uh, beveling effect because of the angle of the cutter. So it's a really simple tool to make. Uh, so I've cut out all the pieces now so I'm now going to shape all the teeth and then I'm going to put some uh, patterning on this and see what it looks like. So let's carry on.
So here's the back. That was a lot of hammering. And here we are on the front. So we've got a kind of swirl pattern going out around. And if you look, I suppose it looks a bit like an orange or an inverse orange. That looks more like an orange. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm just going to think about it. Um, so we'll think what we're going to do and then we'll carry on. So I used basically these pieces here. These are all ones I made. This is a little thin uh, cutter. And then we have a rounded one, which I did the big round up here. I have a little thin one that I use for straights. I have a bigger one that I use for pushing out areas like the backs of the, the teeth. And then I have the one that I did basically everything with, or all the the design is this round headed one little small round headed one. All these are just scrap pieces of steel filed to shape, hardened and then used. I don't harden the tops that's why they uh, are upset like this bulged over. Uh, it means you don't get hardened bits chipping off and hitting you. I cleaned off the surface with acetone, I wire wooled it down and then I sprayed it with some black uh, matte spray paint because that's all I had and then I got some more wire wool and rubbed all the black off, well virtually all of it and then I sprayed it with some uh, this stuff here, plastic coat uh, varnish and here we have our skull now. Uh, I like the way it's turned out. There was a lot of hammering with this little tool down here. I uh, can't even find it now. That's it there. This little tool. Um, but it looks quite nice. I like the swirl on the top, the way the lines are coming out. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'll back it on. Maybe a piece of leather or something to make it stand out. Um, but I like the overall effect. So with a piece of scrap aluminium tray, some simple tools and just a bit of time hammering um, you can make something like this or any design. Um, so if you like that I hope you'll uh, tick the like button, maybe subscribe and have a look at some of my other videos. So thanks again for watching and go out and see if you can make something. Thanks.